All right, so I got my buddy here, Larry, bouncer for eight years and ex-military for five years. Um, you tell me how much did you punch when you were in your old days? 1,174 pounds per square inch. Okay, so that's definitely a really hard punch, okay? Maybe you can do as much now, but... Max, I do yeah. now probably about 900. I haven't worked out for quite a while. Okay, so 900 pounds per square inch, that's how hard you're punching. All right, so how do you use softness to defeat such a hard punch? Right, exactly. So we're just gonna do a demonstration. Um, you're just gonna hit me like I showed you, and then I'm not gonna turn anything on, just, out, just regular, okay? So go. Okay, so one more time. And how many percent are you hitting? That's like 40. 40 percent, okay. So, um, probably less. And how's that? So, how I feel is that I feel a shaking through my body because um, the energy is getting pretty much stuck here. All right. So, if that was a little, more, a little harder, it'll start to hurt. Okay. So, now I'm going to turn on some softness. Okay. And I'll explain what that means later. Okay. Harder? Harder? How, how many percent are you doing now? I should do one fold so you could, we could gauge it back. Okay, do one fold. Just, I want to ramp it up. So okay. let's say you do 80% or something. Ready? Yeah. Okay, now do 100%. 100%. Okay, so, oh, I can feel that, yeah. but not all of it. How does that go on? It, it actually feels sore right here. What, what happened to that energy when you hit my chest? It bounces back because it feels sore. Like the other times it hit you, it didn't feel sore. But this time it does. It kind of bounces back the energy. Right. And you were hitting pretty hard. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's one way you use softness, all right? Is to actually minimize the energy that goes in your body, in your organs, so that you, that will damage your organs and internally, and actually send the energy down to, into the feet. Uh, into the ground and actually it actually bounces back to the attacker isn't that interesting okay so, so that's softness and one way the Chinese explain this is like a iron fist in a velvet glove you're soft on the outside but hard on the inside all right here's another demonstration how to use softness um, against hardness okay so I'm just kind of stiff here and he's gonna hit my arm and and that's kind of hurting my arm okay yeah, me too. you too okay so um, because I'm stiff, okay? I'm stiff and he's using stiffness against my stiffness. So the energy is gonna get stuck here and it's gonna damage my muscles and nerves here, okay? So I'm not, now I'm gonna turn on the softness. Okay, now go. Harder, 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 100%. That hurts you, right? Well, I hurt you. I hurt you. Elbow. You hit my elbow? Yeah. Okay, don't hit my elbow. Here, here. 100%? Okay. Yeah. All right, so tell, explain how that felt. It hurts in here. Okay. So uh, he... Yeah, yeah there's uh, pain in the arm where there shouldn't be pain, basically. Because I'm hitting him. He's not hitting me. It shouldn't hurt. It, and instantly after hitting him, it shouldn't be hurting me. Because the energy can bounce back. So, yeah, how he does it, I don't know. All right, Larry, so tell me, tell the audience what you felt with that demonstration. Well, basically, um, when I hit my forearm against his forearm, I should be the one transferring pain to him through the assault. But after the initial contact, the pain is in my arm. It feels like uh, it shouldn't feel sore right off the back when I'm hitting a person like that. It, the pain should be in them, not in me. It feels like the energy got bounced back or something. All right, so what's one way to use softness against hardness? Well, it's kind of like this analogy. Let's say you have a hammer really hard and you're hitting a sponge. What happens? Nothing, right? It just absorbs the energy. Nothing. Does it damage the sponge? Not really, okay? But if you use the hammer to hit a brick, what happens? Most likely the brick's gonna shatter because it's stiff, okay? So for example, let's say he's gonna be uh, pushing me all right, and I'm really stiff. It's like, oh, I'm not gonna let you push me. Okay, see how far I go back? 
because I'm stiff. All the energy is transferred and it actually goes out this way and my body is flying backwards this way, okay? You got a tough guy here, 240 pounds, right? 200, 210. 210 pounds and I'm only 145. He's punishing with all his force. I'm gonna go way back and just fly into some bar, chair, or maybe some glass and I don't wanna be doing that, right? So let's say, let's say I do, do it with softness. I'm totally soft and he does the same push, same energy. What happened? How come I didn't fly as far as back? Do it again. How come? I didn't go as far as back. Uh, I didn't go back as far, right? Well, that's because I'm using softness to absorb that energy and transfer it to the ground. All right, so now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use softness in your attacks to increase damage. So here's something I'm just doing about 20%, right? With a basically stiff, stiff punch. Okay, now 20%, how's that feel? More, it hurts more. Okay, so a little softer. Yeah. Okay, so how much more that pain? It hurts, yeah. Okay. It almost, it got the, almost the Zephod process to take the wind out of me. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the same force, but the relaxation caused more damage. It's like a whiplash, because I know it's like you make contact and then it's the big bam. Right, right. Because I'm using softness yeah. to basically, I'm, I'm transferring it into your punch. Okay. If you do it fast like this, boom, it just gets stuck in the in the frame, right? Yeah. But I'm actually soft, and I'm actually I'm actually slowly pushing it into the body. Okay. So how much more uh, painful would that be using? The, this, the way you're doing it, the second way, it's a lot more painful. A lot more painful. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you use softness. And it'll be easier on your knuckles too. Yeah. All it's right. dumb to punch like this anyway. Yeah. It breaks your knuckles. If you look, you can see there's stitch marks there from surgeries. Hmm. Yeah, so don't use uh, your fist when, when it's the worst. In the fight. It's the worst. It All right, so that's how you use softness to increase damage in your attacks. Especially if you're smaller like me, or you're uh, not as strong, your muscles aren't as big, or you're getting older and you don't have the muscle mass that uh, you normally do then you need to know how to maximize the damage with the minimal effort, all right? And also not, not break your fist or break your knuckles when you're attacking um, and then having to get surgery on your hand, right? So this is how you do it, is you use softness, use a whipping motion instead of using a stiff uh, hard punch in order to create more damage.